Let's see an example of integration of security that makes life uh, a lot easier. The objective here is to allow users of iPhone or Android devices to get access to mail or corporate directory of any other browser-based type of application they may want to access from their phone in a secure way. So the initial thinking could be, well, let's do IPsec. So let's create a tunnel and do IPsec. So we communicate securely. Well, that may not be a very good idea. Besides of the obvious reason that an IPsec, uh, because it's a, it's a tunnel that is always on, can drain your battery pretty quickly, it is a it is not a from a security standpoint. If somebody gets a hold of the of the phone and locks the phone, they got themselves access to your corporate internet and they can launch uh, different attacks uh, from there. So that's definitely not a very good uh, idea. A much better approach would be to actually do this via VPN SSL. In a VPN SSL, they can go, for example, using our access management reverse proxy, the, the end user can actually go to the appliance and this, the first time that the user connects or after a certain period of time, he needs to authenticate uh, using their uh, user ID and password, the corporate user ID and password, into the corporate LDAP. And once they have been, they have been authenticated, if they are allowed to, for example, retrieve their mail, they can certainly do that. Uh, if they are allowed to go into a corporate directory, the, the policy allows them to do that, and that's enforced by the appliance, they can actually go there. And any other application uh, that they might want to go there, let's say that they, there is a, uh, a, a browser-based application, and again, the policy allows him to, to go, and they can um, automatically be allowed to access that application. So. What happened? Uh, well, one, one of the things that we actually do is that our endpoint agent, that uh, it, it's normally something that, that you want to keep on those devices to make sure that they are not jailbroken, they have the right configuration, patches, etc. But this one, for example, can enforce that the user uh, unlocks his device with a passcode or passphrase uh, that is much stronger than a PIN. A PIN is just uh, too insecure uh, for, for that. Uh, purposes. So, no PIN here. PIN just is four digits that people can actually grab from the the, 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 the screen uh, very easily. So, a passcode is, is a much efficient way. So, the, input, the, in, the endpoint agent can, can ensure that all that uh, is actually happening. But what happens if the device falls into the wrong hand? And let's assume that somebody gets to know the passcode or unlocks the device and tries to go to this particular application and he doesn't know the user ID and password and let's say that he, he tries several times so the our appliance is gonna log a couple of uh, failed logins and what happened is those fails login can actually be intercepted or read by our Curator SIEM. And now, depending on the context of what the user is trying to do, all that is uh, is configurable. Uh, what the curator can do is after a certain number of uh, failed login, because the user hasn't reported that this uh, phone was uh, lost or stolen, uh, then curator can actually send a message to our endpoint server and have our endpoint server actually send a command to the endpoint agent and have the device selectively perform a selective wipe and erase all corporate data from that device. Uh, the Access management appliance can also do things like uh, device fingerprint, which is actually very useful to make sure that uh, 
for example, if, if you want to allow people to bring their own devices and they come the first time in, not only they need to provide a user ID and password, but let's say that we don't recognize that device, uh, so we, we may do some risk-based authentication and we can ask them uh, for additional uh, means of authentication, like uh, uh, challenge response question or any other kind of a second factor. All these pieces work integrated out of the box, so implementing this scenario is something that is actually uh, very easy to do. Also, the device, the, the access management reverse proxy, has a low balancer. That's what we uh, depict two of them here, because uh, for high availability or for traffic, you can actually, uh, you don't need to have a separate load balancer. The, the device can actually balance the load uh, between uh, multiple of, of those uh, devices.